hello everyone welcome to a new video in this video we will learn that how we can perform pearson correlation analysis in spss and we will also learn that how we can make a table of correlation analysis in word file so before moving to the video if you are new to our channel please do not forget to subscribe the channel let's start first of all you have to go to analyze option there you will find out correlate option you have to go to bivariate option and you have to select your variables there is no independent or dependent variable option available in correlation analysis you just have to select your variables of the study and you have to place them in variables box so i am going to select some of the variables like optimism life satisfaction self esteem and perceived stress these are the four variables of my study and i am going to perform a pearson correlation analysis some of the option has already been checked like pearson option is checked you can perform some other options if your variables are categorical like candles tau and spearman currently my variables are measured on interval or ratio level so i am going to choose the pearson option and what other options spss 29 version provides you you will find out you can check the flag significant correlations option show only the triangle option lower triangle option this option will only available for 29th version and uh, we will see that what kind of output this option can provide us in spss output file so i have already placed the variables in variable box and now i have to just simply click on the okay button there is an output of correlation analysis here as we can see and uh, what i have to do now if we are using 29 and uh, other version uh, other versions especially 29 version you will see that there is an option of uh, lower triangle show only the lower triangle option i am going to check this option and you will see that now spss is giving me an output in apa kind of standard format and here you will find out actually spss repeats the output like you can read the output from diagonal like if you want to read the upper portion then you can report this option and there is no need to report the second option and if you want to report the lower triangle option you can report it if you want to show the correlation table for male and female then you can use this option like upper one option for male and lower option for the female here we are not uh, aggregating on the basis of male and female so i am going to check that how we can take this table to the word file and we can make a correlation table according to apa 7th edition so first of all i am going to show you what kind of apa style table looks in for sample correlation and here you can see that this is the pearson correlation analysis table for apa 7th edition and uh, if you are going to use this table i am going to place this table under the description you can download this table and modify it according to your need so what do you have to do you have to place the variables option here and you have to give the numbers to each variable like we have four variables what are those variable optimism satisfaction self esteem perceived stress so if you are going to modify this table you can change the, the name of these variable and perceived stress and and you can get other values like n is your sample size m is your mean value of the variable and sd is standard deviation value and the rest of the values are correlation values but in this table we do not have mean and standard deviation values how we can get those values if you go back to your analysis correlation analysis and here you will find out options here you can click on the means and standard deviation option and now it will provide you means and standard deviation of each variable and also you can find out the n value or the sample size value of each variable so you can report them 
as per your need but here you will find out that mean value is between 1 to 7 so what do you have to do you can divide these numbers like in output you can find out that optimism is 22.17 this scale is measured on 1 to 7 Likert scale items and uh, you can divide that mean value with the 7 and uh, you will find out the exact value that you have to report here like at the mean level so as per APS style guidelines you can uh, report the mean value between 1 to 5 or 1 to 7 as per your Likert scale and standard deviations value is available accordingly you can, can simply take these values and you can report them and you can also divide these values as well like how we can do this i'm going to uh, transform option and what do i have to do i'm going to place optimism here and i'm going to divide this variable with seven and i'm giving it a new name optimism new and i'm going to click on the ok button okay a new variable will be created at the end here is the optimism new so what can i do now i will check the descriptive values like mean and standard deviation of this variable and we'll see that what kind of mean and standard deviation this variable provides us so i'm going to click on mean and standard deviation option that's already checked now you can see the mean value is 3.1 and standard deviation value is 0.637 if you already convert these variable in this form like you can divide them with 5 or 7 then you can use these variable for your correlation analysis then this value will be in a better position or better shape that you can report in epa table what other things we have to do there is no need to mention all of these very very values manually you can take this table like i'm going to place this table into and here i can okay i'm going to copy as plain text or you can take these values to the excel sheet so what do we have to do now you can you have to delete some of the columns and then you can take this table into your word file the other option is that you can fill the all of the value values manually okay there is there is this table in excel file what i have to do i'm going to give numbering one second two here is 3, here is 4, you have to delete this column, so there is no need to report it. What other things we have to delete, we have to delete the number of n number and second we have to delete the significance. We just need values of correlation okay this is the table and what i have to do i have to replace this this with one two and three four so these are the total values we can simply take this table to the word file okay i am placing this table here okay this is the table and you have to simply now select the what i have to do now I'm going to select border option, bottom border, and top border, and select this option and place a bottom border here. Okay, so you can make some adjustment according to your variable's name. I'm going to move this table. Okay, some of the options are outside. You can Select this option and auto fit. Select the auto fit window. Okay, I'm going to select the upper column again. 
and you will find out the bottom border has been placed and now I'm going to place the top border what I have to do now I'm going to this is the sample table mention the table table 1 then select this option descriptive table statistics and correlation for study variables and uh, this will be in the italics form what other things we have to do we can mention variables here because there is no independent or dependent variable in in correlation analysis you can bold this option if you want to there is no need to do it because that kind of instructions are not available in APS 7th guidelines but other columns we have to add we need three more columns you can add them here if there is no option so you can click on this option and you will find out plus option and we have to three add more columns like what is n value what is mean value and what is sd value s standard deviation value and you can see that these are in italic form so i have replaced them with the italic what other things we have to do we can take the n value here 435 436 436 433 accordingly 435 436 436 and last one is 433 mean value we have calculated for only one variable so it's uh, 3.1 3.15 and the standard deviation value is 0.61 something you can fill the rest of the values these both table will be available under the description of this video you can download this file and you can replace your values accordingly if you want to make a new table you can go paste the table into output file into the excel file and you can change the whole table from here you can make the amendments changing here and then copy this table to the word file and your table will be ready for you so this is the procedure at the last you can report note and you can mention what does it mean by p less than 0 0.0 like you can see there are two star and some of the time you will find one star or three star so if there is simple one star you can report like this one one star mean this one second third second star mean this one this value you will find out correlation is significant at the 0 0.01 level they have already mentioned under the table you, you can uh, copy this and then report this in the final table like mention we're going to mention it here like correlation is significant at this level okay we are going to report it Okay, correlation is significant at the 0 0.01 level or you can use some other method like if you have some want to mention some other kind of information like what does it mean by starting salary you can use a b c option and uh, if you are going to use gender as your variable you can mention what does it mean by gender like 0 will be 1 male and 1 is for female you can mention it accordingly so this is the whole, pro whole procedure to report epa style table of correlation analysis i hope you have liked this video please do not forget to subscribe the channel share the video thank you for watching it bye